Rolling action. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. the thing that I want to talk about is about how Islam is losing the argument. Ah, okay. Islam is losing the argument. Muslims in the park are losing the argument. They used to say that Jesus Christ was not crucified and that was someone was crucified in his place. In fact, all the classical Muslim scholars used to say that Jesus Christ was not the one that was nailed to the cross. However, modern day Muslim apologists have abandoned that argument completely. <laughs> now they say, now they say that Jesus was crucified, that he was nailed to a cross. So in other words, they accept what the Christian church teaches. And why have they changed their argument? Why have they changed their position? It is because the evidence is just simply overwhelming. We have early independent witnesses, both Christian and non-Christian, that accept that Christ was crucified. And Muslim apologists in the park have simply had to accept the evidence. And so now Muslims accept that Christ was crucified. So Christians won, Muslims zero. Next point. They used to say that every Quran was the same everywhere in every part of the world and has been for all time. That's what Muslims used to say until the Christians came with the different versions of the Quran demonstrating that actually there are multiple different Qurans and that they are not identical. Now, Muslims are saying that there's one Quran that exists in seven forms. So one plus one plus one plus one plus one plus one plus one, plus one equals one. And then they say that we're bad at maths. No, not finished. The evidence is clear that when we compare different Qurans from different parts of the world that actually the claim that every Quran is the same everywhere in the world is a lie. They used to say that Muhammad could be found in the New Testament and so we Christians challenged the Muslims in the park to bring us the proof that Muhammad could be found in the New Testament. They used to say that Muhammad could be found in the Gospel of John. But you won't find any Muslims using that argument anymore because that argument has been utterly destroyed. Every evidence, every proof text that Muslims have ever brought has been destroyed and there is no proof that Muhammad can be found in the New Testament. None. And if there is any Muslim who thinks I'm wrong, at the end of this talk, I invite them to bring their Google proof texts and let's debate them. Because Muhammad cannot be found in the New Testament. And that is a problem for Muslims. Because the Quran is very clear, Muhammad can be found in the New Testament. But Muslims can't find Muhammad in the New Testament. Which means that the Quran is saying something that is false, that is untrue. And if the Quran is saying something that is false and untrue, it means that the Quran is false and untrue. And if the Quran is false and untrue, according to Muslims, it's not from God. Boom! Amen. Perfect. They used to say 
that no one ever leaves Islam. But they don't say that anymore. They don't say that anymore because there are countless Muslims who have left Islam and become Christians who have stayed in the park. I met one just today, a Kurdish brother who abandoned Islam that was foisted onto his people by force and he has embraced the truth of Christ. Praise the Lord. The evidence of ex-Muslims is now so large and so well documented that only the most ignorant, only the most naive, only the most filtering of Muslims would ever argue that no Muslim leaves Islam. The fact of the matter is that there are countless tens of thousands of Muslims who are leaving Islam and every Muslim who hears my voice you can be one of them. Yes. You can join the legions of ex-Muslims. You can join the legions of Muslims who are becoming Christians. They used to say that Sharia law was a perfect system of law that governs every aspect of life. That is what they used to say. They used to say, <laughs> but they don't say that anymore and why not because it has been exposed as simply a sales pitch for the weak-minded that actually what we discover when you scrutinize this bag of tricks called sharia law is that it is made up by scholars in every generation according to what they think best suits them at the time it's made up by the ulama. It wasn't given by Muhammad. There is no Sharia law. It's just a bunch of principles that scholars in one year to the next decide, well, this is my opinion and this is my opinion. And the Muslims can't even agree upon themselves what Sharia law looks like. In fact, they disagree so much that there are countless different Muslim schools of law. And they don't disagree on trivial things either. They disagree on really significant things, like abortion, like when it's okay to kill a baby. Some Muslims say it's okay to kill a baby so long as you do it before the baby is 90 days old. Some Muslims say that it's wrong to kill a baby from conception. Now, if Islam is such clear guidance, how can you get something so significant wrong? Uppercut. How can you disagree about something so fundamental that depending upon your opinion, you're actually committing murder or not? There are some Muslims who say that if a Muslim kills a Christian, that their life can be demanded in return. This is the Hanafi school of Islam. There are some schools of Islam that says if a Muslim kills a Christian, their life can't be demanded in return. Does that sound like a well-ordered system of law to you? Or does it sound like a contradictory bunch of opinions given by conflicted scholars? We can do better than Islam. If you can, be if you believe me, bro, 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 leave him, bro. Brother, it's all right. Does it all the time. I'm used to out shouting him. It's okay. We love you, Uncle. We love you, Uncle. He's like a dog in the background. It's like you. You're feeding the fire. Ladies and gentlemen, we can do better than Islam. Allah. Because our faith doesn't contradict history. Our faith 
works. Our faith doesn't make claims that are false. Our faith is a principle of law that can be followed. Are there any questions on the topic? Any questions? Any questions? <laughs> any questions? So, any questions or comments? <laughs>